Hello everybody and welcome back. Good to talk to all of you again today and oh my goodness, somebody sent me another infographics channel video again about World War II battleships and battlecruisers. And I was like, I hope it's better than the last one. And no. No, in fact, I think this one was even worse than the last one. First things first, zero effort on the graphics. Um, this, by the way, was supposed to be HMS Hood. What they had below, what the actual ship looked like above. Yeah, not really, right? Even if you stretch artistic creativity a little bit, not really. Well, this was supposed to be California and Tennessee. Supposed to look similar, but like, I don't know, they're using modern missile cruisers or something. And I don't even know what the one on top looks like. I mean, that looked like a picture... Never mind. Um, nothing like the historical warships. But then you said, oh, okay, maybe the line drawings are too complicated. Okay, well, here's a much easier shape to draw. It's supposed to be the French battleship Jean Bar, and no, just, just, just no, no, no. These don't look anything even remotely close. Plus, missiles? Really? Anyhow, and if you think this is bad, it really actually keeps getting worse, right? So after the Jean Bar, they did the Roma. And if you take a close look at the Jean Bar and you take a close look at the Roma, you might notice that it isn't that the same? It actually is. They basically recycled the Jean Bar graphic and then they added a layer in Photoshop and like added some colors. And then, of course, you have the actual profile of the ship at the bottom there. And again, it doesn't look like it at all. Like, nothing alike. Gets worse, because then we get to Congo, and, well, now I, I don't even know what that, that looks like, some sort of Coast Guard cutter or something. I mean... Uh, I, 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 that looks like nothing, not even like a modern warship of any type that I'm aware of, but anyways. And compared to the battleship above, I mean, the, the, the difference is substantial. It, it's like the graphics were terrible in this video. Oh, and for those of you who do know anything about what warships looks like, this is what Iowa looks like in their graphics. Just what in the actual is this? And if you thought the graphics were bad, the ranking itself is even worse because it makes zero logical sense. Like, I could not find the logic in this ranking at all. Um, the best running theory I have right now is that they took a bunch of ship names, famous, not famous, from all over the world, uh, as long as they fit the category battleship, threw them all into a hat, stuck their hands in, and pulled out 10, and said, we'll go with this. And, and that's really the only working theory I've got right now, because most of these rankings just don't make any sense at all. I mean, fine, Iowa, Yamato, 1, 2, sure, they were, you know, we can argue the finest examples of a battleship from World War II, but seriously, a Fuso at 3? How? Why? I mean, not even going into the very, very in-depth look using books and academic literature or anything like that, just going on Wikipedia. And you look up Fuso, and it's like, paragraph two, both ships, by the eve of World War II, were seen as basically being obsolete. In fact, I think their only claim to fame is the fact that both of them will get sunk. One of them, Yamashiro, will get sunk in the last battleship on battleship engagement, ever. That's it. Like, that's their claim to any kind of fame. In which case, if we're doing a top 10 ranking and this ship is at number 3, then the ship that sunk it should have been higher, but no, this, this one's at number 3, guys. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I can't explain this. Moving on, picking another ship. Jean Bar number 8. There's a ship that wasn't even completed during World War II. The only action the ship ever got was the fact that she was anchored in port when the U.S.'s Massachusetts started shooting. 
She managed to get off a couple of return salvos, and then the USS Massachusetts hit her with like five shells. The end. I mean, hell, just look at a photo of Jean Bar in 1943 when she was at Casablanca. One turret in the front. The second turret isn't even finished. Like, how the hell is an incomplete ship at number eight? Oh my goodness, like, what is this, right? Like, watching this video, watching the rankings, I felt like my neurons were starting to commit seppuku in my brain, like, right then and there, because they just couldn't stand it anymore. Like, an incomplete ship makes it onto a top 10 list, but actually deserving completed ships are nowhere in sight. But the absolute most cringy moment in the video was at number four, Graf Spee popped up. What? The, like, this is not a battleship. This is not a battleship. It's not a battlecruiser. The term pocket battleship was coined by the British media. The Germans called these ships Panzerschiffs. And really what they were, were treaty loophole ships, if you want to think about it. Uh, the Germans were under the Versailles Treaty, and they were not allowed to build ships greater than 10,000 tons with guns bigger than 11 inches. And so the Germans, in their ingenuity, decided, you know what, we're going to make a ship that is basically in the middle of a heavy cruiser and an actual battle cruiser. It's like somewhere in the middle there. So they gave it light battle cruiser, caliber guns, and pretty light armor. So this was definitely not either a battle cruiser or a battleship, and she doesn't fit in the list. So it's like, what the hell? I mean, three minutes of searching on Wikipedia would have made it pretty clear that she wasn't a battleship. Hell, most of the ships I'm going to suggest in the next list should probably be more deserving to be on that top 10 list. North Carolina class, USS Washington, for example, for her engagement against the Japanese battleship Karishma. Scharnhorst class, Scharnhorst and Gneisenau. I mean, there is two German battleship battle cruisers. It's hard to exactly classify those two. But they had some pretty substantial actions sinking British warships during World War II. South Dakota class, there's four of them in total, but you can use, for example, USS Massachusetts if you wanted a specific ship for her engagement against the Jean Bart and sinking a couple of other French ships. King George V class, HMS Duke of York for sinking Scharnhorst, Prince of Wales for damaging Bismarck, causing Bismarck to need to turn around and head back to France. King George V for being there at the final battle to sink the Bismarck. I know, Bismarck was scuttled, I got it. Nagato class, right? So Nagato and Mutsu, um, first battleships in the world to pack 16 inch guns, really making everybody else have to go bigger or else. Colorado class, USS West Virginia, if you really wanted to use a ship, again, very recognizable name. West Virginia having opened fire first and landed the first salvos against Yamashiro. If you want another British ship, you could always use HMS Warspite or some of the other Queen Elizabeth class ships. Would be okay as well. And if you truly wanted a battle cruiser, because there's actually very few true battle cruisers during World War II, could always use Renown or Repulse. And, you know, that's or, or in Alaska class, if you really were okay with like super late war things. But anyways, you know, all in all, the video was just a poorly done, poorly researched video. Really, I mean, just next time in the future, spend some time on Wikipedia. It'd probably greatly improve uh, the videos that are coming out from that channel. Anyways, folks, take care of yourselves. Have yourselves a great day. And I'll talk to all of you again next time.